Hello everyone. I'm Chen Nanzhu. Come from the Beijing Normal University. Um, the topic of my presentation is cognitive personalized search integrating large language models with an inefficient memory mechanism. Okay, let's begin. The search methods are the core of the search engines, which can provide the personalized search results for a given query. Uh, by considering the user search logs. The deep learning based uh, personalized search heavily rely on the abundant uh, training data to make user modeling, making it more susceptible to data sparsity challenges. Fortunately, the large language model can refine the user modeling by integrating its ability to work effectively in their short scenarios. However, as the user search logs grows in length and complexity, process such so extensive data can be computational inten oh sorry can be intensive can uh, computation intensive and uh, even exceeds the length limit of large language models then how to address these challenges Recent findings claim that the human cognition is composed of a sensory memory, working memory, and long-term memory, which can make a swift and reaction to the external stimuli. The sensory memory is the earliest stage of the memory. It holds the sensory information and facilitates the rapid response to external stimuli instantaneously. Once the information has passed through the sensory memory, it processes to working memory with integrated information retrieved from the long-term memory. And the information from the working memory is encoded into the long-term memory for retrieved when needed. The long-term memory can store ending information of knowledge and uh, uh, experience. Together, those three modules can form a system that effectively processes, uh, retains, and retrieves information. Inspired by the human cognition, we proposed a large language model uh, with external memory units. Those units can retain uh, scalable and handle increasing amounts of data without significant uh, drops efficiency. OK, uh, this is our model. It's COPS. Uh, there are three steps in our course to handle new queries for search tasks. First, the course will evaluate whether a new query corresponds to a refunding behavior. If identified as a refunding action, the course constantly uses the sensory response to rank the candidate documents. Otherwise, the query is forwarded to the working memory for further analysis. Second, the working memory based on the rewrite the query to integrate relevant uh, history interactions to construct a user profile for user modeling by large language models. One part information for the user profile is the user's short-term interactions from the short-term memory. Another part information is the query aware interest retrieved from the long-term memory. The long-term memory can uh, provide the user's long-term interest to help the working memory to make a decision. Lastly, the corps use a ranker to rank the candidate items based on the user profile. The above three steps can be organized into three components, including a memory unit to, uh, as, a, as a storage unit, a memory mechanism as a, a storage unit, the large language model as a cognitive unit, and a ranker as a scoring unit. Now we will introduce the details of the three components. One component is a memory mechanism, it's the storage unit. It can make, uh, uh, it can store the personalize the interactions and make efficient uh, uh, feedback. It includes the sensory memory, long-term memory, short-term memory, and uh, working memory. The sensory memory uh, uh, evaluates whether a refunding behavior for the new query is found. If yes, then produce a response to rank the candidate items. Otherwise, it will forward it to the working memory. The long-term memory retains the most slant or personalized signals with explicit and implicit memory from users' 
a uh, query logs. The, exp the explicit memory captures the user specific topics, specific interests on some topic. And the implicit memory uh, stores the user's personal details, such as gender, occupation, or other latent factors. The short-term mem uh, short memory captures the current session sequence of the user interactions. And uh, the working memory is responsible for the integration of information related to the new work uh, by considering the short-term memory and uh, long-term memory. The second component is the large language model. It's the cognitive units that can make a, make a decision to the information to be loaded into the working memory and execute cognitive reasoning to analyze personalized query intention. Uh, it includes three tasks, query writing, user profile retrieval, and user interest modeling. The, the query rewrite, rewriting is to retain and transfer user queries to clarify their, uh, to improve their clarity. The, uh, the COPS will give the query rewriting prompt to the large language model and make the query more clear. The user profile retrieval is to retrieve the relevant information from the long-term memory based on the query. The COPS will give this prompt to the large language model and extract the relevant information. The results of the query writing and user profile retrieval are stored in the working memory together with the user's short-term interest from short-term memory. Based on those information, COPS will give, you, you, give this user modeling prompt to the large language model and make user modeling. The output of user modeling is the user preferences which is expressed in natural language. Uh, it has the higher interpretability compared with the abstract vector uh, from the deep learning models. The third uh, component is ranker. It's a scoring unit that can uh, evaluate the correlation, uh, correlation between the user preferences and the documents. We explore three types of ranker to within the zero short scenarios. The first is a term-based ranker. We select BM252 to evaluate the, uh, the term matching relevance of the documents to the query. And the second is the vector-based ranker. We select these two birds to grasp the contextual relevance between the document and the query. The third is a large language model ranker. We import the query, user preferences, and the candidate documents to the large language model like ChatGPT, and then request a personalized ranking using following the ranking prompts to make the personalized search results. Uh, we do uh, several experiments to validate our, uh, our model's effectiveness. The table one gives the overall performance of, our, of all models on two data sets. The results show that our model outperforms the existing narrow short personalized search methods, uh, uh, indicating that our model has the consistent performance without any depend on uh, prior training. Also, the performance of our model is, compa is compatible with and in some instances uh, uh, extends the fine-tuned models. This, uh, this phenomenon attributes the robust user modeling capability of the la large language models. Uh, we then do ablation a study by removing each memory unit from our model. The table two gives the corresponding uh, results. The results show that uh, omitting any memory unit results in, results in increased uh, performance. Uh, notably, uh, 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 when, when, when removing the long-term explicit memory, there is the most negative impact. Uh, it indicates that uh, the user's long-term interest is most uh, to make the personalized research. Uh, search. And uh, there, is, uh, yeah, there is an uh, increasing query latency and a decline in results when removing sensor memory. It indicates the re, uh, refounding identification in the sensor memory is important. Uh, uh, also, it is a simple yet effective way to make personalized search. And the uh, figure three uh, evaluates the influence of the varying user history lens in short-term memory on models performance. 
uh, varying different proportions of the users' most uh, recent behavior uh, at interviews increased 10 percent for experiments. The, uh, the figure three, three gives the uh, results show that a longer use history with more recent behavior can enhance the model's performance. Uh, the table three uh, explores the essence of the large language model on personalized search through three functions, uh, including query writing, use, pro uh, use profile retrieval, and user modeling. The results show uh, that when removing uh, those three uh, functions, our model has the lowest performance. It indicates that uh, the large language model uh, plays an important role in each step of the personalized uh, pipeline. Uh, also, uh, when the la large language model like ChatGPT is replaced uh, by with a less power language model we call, uh, there is a job performance. This, indicate, uh, this indicates that the, uh, the complexity of user uh, modeling in personalized search and highlights the ChatGPT uh, as a potential solution to uh, make user modeling. And, uh, and uh, the figure uh, four gives our models on different queries. We potential the test queries into two categories, uh, rapid and non-rapid queries. The rapid queries imitate our uh, refunding behaviors. And uh, the results show that our model has the superior performance on rapid queries. Also, the figure five gives the Analysis of fine tuning and inference, uh, inference efficiency on different models. Uh, there is a phenomenon and uh, uh, there is a direct relation, relationship, uh, relationship uh, for the time of the uh, training and uh, inference in the fine tuned models. And our model has a higher uh, inference efficiency in the zero short models. Uh, uh, finally, the table four gives the case study of the input query with a spelling error. Uh, first, uh, the sensory memory, uh, sensory memory uh, gives uh, a response as no refunding data, as no refund data, and uh, the uh, the the input query will input to the query rewriting module and uh, get the formulated query. Based on the formulated query, uh, the uh, working memory will to to construct the user profile by retrieving the relevant from uh, relevant information from the explicit memory, impl uh, implicit memory, and short-term memory, and then we can uh, get the user modeling. It uh, represents the user's preferences. Based on the user preferences, our model can make the relevant uh, document to have a higher uh, ranking. Uh, okay, in, con in conclusion, we present a uh, uh, which combines large language model with a cognitive memory. The cognitive memory includes uh, sen uh, sensory memory, working memory, and the long-term memory. Also, th those memory can allow the model to effective store and retrieve user in interactions and can make the effective query intent modeling for personalized search results. Okay, uh, that's all.